All right, what we got to do here, guys, is we're going to be changing the transmission belt, which is this upper belt here, okay? So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to unbolt this, which is the guard here going down and around. Unbolt that, get that guard out of the way, and then we should go unbolt this, this, this bolt back there. There's four bolts that hold the engine down. We should go unbolt them, I believe, and then we can move this. You might be able to unbolt this here and pull this off, but I really don't want to try to get the shaft off the crank because it may or may not come off. I don't know. So, so I'm just going to try unbolt the engine to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this unbolted here so we can show you off and then show you guys how to do it. Now then, I got the uh, engine unbolted. I'm gonna go up under here, and I'm gonna take the uh, pulleys. Let's see if I can get in a place that I can show you guys. These pulleys here, I'm gonna take the belt off of that, so that way I can get some slack in it, so that way I can move stuff around. Now that that so off of that, I'm going to uh, go back here and see what I can do back here. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and just get this battery moved so that way I can hopefully get down in there maybe through the top here and I can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'll show you guys what I've gotten done. What I was able to do is pop this belt off. I just reached in here, grabbed this idler, I pulled it back, which allowed me to pop this top belt off, small belt. Okay, then I just took a bungee, shoved it on the belt to hold it there. Then literally I was able just to reach in here, like so, and kind of pop the belt off. It's like a uh, variable speed, so you can hear that. I don't know if it's supposed to do that or not, but that's what it does. So, I guess it does, because it's, it's a, like a wedge pulley on both sides there. So I was able to pop that off that way, which then gave this belt free. So now I should be able to go back up to the front. All right, guys, so now I got that belt where it's a lot more free. I can move it, and hopefully I can reach under here and push it forward, like so, as you guys can see. Um, I don't have all the tools I need here. If I had like a pick or something, I might be able to reach up there and hook it and pull it, but I don't have a pick with me. So I'm trying to see if I can maybe work the belt down like so. Okay. And then since I got the engine unbolted, I can move it like that, which hopefully I can then work it back and forth. Now let me move the engine forward a little bit so I can hopefully get it off of there. Maybe I can wiggle it. So I might be able just to push it back through that way and pull it back. I don't know, we'll see. So I haven't done this before, so you guys are learning as I'm learning. But I'm hoping I can put the new belt in that way. So we got the belt pulled out like so. And then I should just be able to pull it, hopefully out, and not get stuck on the deck like it's liking to do in the back part. But the belt is free. I'm just caught on a deck piece. So there we go. So now before you guys put it back on, so take the belt. I'm going to get my new belt out. Hopefully the new belt's the same size. Okay, guys, I believe the belt... I believe it's the right size. It's it's hard to tell. So it almost looks like the new belt's a little bit bigger in some aspects, but it's not. So it's it's I think it's the right size. So but you can see the the thickness, see how that bad that's worn compared to this one. So it should work. 
So we'll see. We'll put it on and try it and see and go from there. All right, guys. Since we undid the belt last, we're going to shove this new belt back in this way. And then we're going to go ahead and try to get it all hooked back up. All right, guys. Yeah, so I went back and looked at my video. And what you're going to have to do is run the belt on this side of the steering shaft and then back up through. So that's what I just want to double check and see. It's not a big deal. It's just you kind of got to reach up here. Sorry if I keep putting my head in the camera view. It's, it's kind of hard to do it from, from where I'm sitting trying to do it. So Okay, guys, what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to have a hard time running it up how I was hoping I could. I'm going to try to take it back this way. And I got the engine propped up a little bit. I'm going to try to shove it through going from this, this side here like this. And hopefully maybe I can get it to go through this way instead of trying to pull it back up from the front. I just didn't want to go around the pulley and go down and it seems to like doing it this way a little bit more so that's what I think I'm gonna have to do with it is just run it through that way where you can run it and get it back up there and what I had to do was I had to lift the engine up I used a little block that I had sitting so that way I could lift it up and get it up there so I can get it through now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the block out from under the engine and let the engine sit back down in it where it belongs. Where it belongs. I'm going to try to pull this belt back through this way. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to move the engine back a little bit. Move it over. See if I can get this up on the pulley on the side. Move it over this way. Try to get the front of the pulley on. And then I'm going to try to move it this way. And See, maybe I can wiggle it and get the back or the other side on there like that. Okay. So, you know, it's just moving the engine around to do it. That's the hardest thing. So now that I got that there, now let me pick this up and I'll show you guys here. Now, okay. So I wanted to turn my light on on the phone so that way you guys can see I got the belt ran up through there. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try to hook it on the back right now. And then, um, then I'll do these idlers here. Um, where's my hand? Oh, the idlers there last. So I'm going to go back here now. And I'm going to go through and try to get that belt pulled back and put on this. Okay, I got it in there. It's not really something I can easily show you. But you can see I got it sitting on the bottom side of the belt. It's shoved in there. So what I'm going to do now is make sure that I don't have it crossed anywhere under up under there. And then I'm going to uh, pull the engine back to where it belongs. I'm going to try to bolt the engine down. And then I'll try to hook up everything else. I'll show you guys. I got the new belt in. I had to unbolt this pulley here, drop the pulley down so I could put the new belt through there. It was just a little bit tight fitting and didn't want to fit until I did that. So I got that ran in there. That's ran through there. So when you push the pedal, it pulls that tight, which then pulls the belt tight. So, so it should be good. So now the only thing left that I got to do is I got to bolt this guard that's right here um there it is i'm gonna bolt that guard back on and put the battery in so that guard gets bolted back up to that hole and then there's one on the other side so i already got the engine mounted back on before we put the guard on make sure to put your deck belt back on unless you're gonna be taking the guard back off so that's about it and i'll show you guys it